I really just want to know how Donald Trump, since you spoke to him, feels. Remarkable, remarkable. I mean, I, rep I represented this man through uh, hell, going through hell. And you know the worst times for him when they would go after Donald Jr., Eric, or Ivanka. And this time they're going after him. He really takes it. You know what he says? It's going to help me. As a he said, did you see the number of people? First reaction was, I said, Mr. President, I don't even want to talk to you about the case. We've got plenty of time to do that. And you know it's I said, um, uh, I feel so bad, and Maria feels so bad. We, uh, uh, she's pretty close to crying. He says, tell her not to feel bad. We are, you see the number of people in front of Mar-a-Lago already? This is going to turn around. You heard it straight from Rudy Giuliani's mouth, folks. Uh, apparently, Donald Trump is doing real well. And in the context of that Newsmax interview, he said some pretty insane things, including a theory about the deep state and assassination. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's address what he said there. Unfortunately, Trump's right. Uh, the FBI raid has in some ways turned out well for him in that it has galvanized his supporters. He has done better in polls. Uh, in fact, he has widened his lead against Ron DeSantis uh, to the tune of about 10 percentage points. So he actually did see a bump in support following news that the FBI had raided his home because he had allegedly taken home top secret and classified documents from the White House. And you're not supposed to do that. That breaks certain laws, including a law that he made far more harsh and robust back in 2018. Now, Cenk, I mean, what are we gonna do about that? His supporters are gonna support him no matter what. They see any type of investigation into his alleged criminality as nothing more than a witch hunt. They've been primed and conditioned to think that. So unfortunately, that's the unintended consequence of, of this. No, I don't mind that at all. Look, so first of all, we, you should never, and, it's, and most especially a prosecutor, they're supposed to follow the law. You should never prosecute Donald Trump if he didn't do anything wrong. Obviously, right? And if he did do something wrong, you should hold him accountable. That's supposed to be equally obvious, but for a lot of the prosecutors, it isn't because they're deathly afraid of right wing reaction, right? And so they're like, oh, how's right wing going to react? Are, are they, is he going to become more popular? Are they going to be super angry? Who cares? Is, oh, you did a bank robbery, but how are your fans going to react when we arrest you for the bank robbery? Who cares how my fans are going to react? Did you do the bank robbery or didn't you do the bank robbery? So now, I, right wing is. Totally untethered from reality, so you can't reason with them. So if you say to them, hey, somebody, he, Trump might have uh, broken the Espionage Act, might have shared our nuclear secrets with other countries. They're like, yes, oh, I love that guy, oh, now I love him even more. Well, how are you gonna talk to a lunatic like that? You can't talk to them. So just let him go, just let him wander into the woods. Oh man, oh, our leader's a criminal, criminal, we love it, we love criminals. I hate the rule of law, blue lives matter. I hate the FBI, let's attack them. You can't just let the lunatics drift off into the woods and defeat them in battle. And let's not forget what Donald Trump did during his administration in regard to Julian Assange and the attempts to extradite him to the United States over his reporting of classified documents, right? So the United States wants to extradite him. Don't think for a second that the Trump administration let that go. The Trump administration was vicious in trying to get Julian Assange here to the United States so they could prosecute him to the fullest extent. Trump believes in rules and laws for thee, not for me, thinks he's above the law. Now, there's more from this Giuliani interview that I want to get to because if you thought that was um, an interesting component of what he had to say, um, he has some insanity baked in. Let's listen. Third world countries and banana republics, they arrest the former uh, opponent, the time, they, they, go, they kill they, him. They kill him, they arrest him, they put um, their family in jail. Donald Trump should be in any fear of the deepest of the deep yeah, state, should. maybe killing him? I do. Oh, yeah. But only the deepest of the deep state, not yes. the deep state, the deepest of the deep state. What, I mean, there's no evidence of that and there's no reason to believe it. And there's political violence in the country already as a result of that kind of inflammatory rhetoric. But nonetheless, have at it, please uh, go ahead and, and float that idea, why not? I have a great idea, I just came up with it. Let's build the world's largest mental health clinic and call it the deep state and have them all bum rush it. Okay, and then go into the deepest of the deep of the of the uh, deep state. Okay, look, it's don't you think they're gonna kill Trump? Yeah, I think maybe they will. Like we would, we would whack him, right? I mean, we break laws all the time. We're right wingers. We love being criminals, right? So I bet they're gonna do just like us. 
just like us, right? Yeah, are they gonna whack him, Rudy? Is that what he's gonna do? I mean, look. What I see is a bunch of pathetic mean minions. You know the popular movie, Minions? That's all of Trump's guys. Pathetic little minions running around. What, what criminal activity can we support now? <laughs> So sad, so pathetic. Look, to be fair to Giuliani, maybe he's done something that I don't think, I didn't think he would ever do, which is read up about the country's history and some of the more nefarious, you know, top secret behaviors that the FBI engaged in, which in some cases did lead to assassinations of, you know, civil rights leaders and things like what that. What do you mean? Rudy did it. Rudy's that he loved that stuff. They're like he when did, we exactly. were assassinating people, uh, not only outside the country but potentially inside the country yes. in the 1960s. R- Rudy loved that kind of stuff. And he, wh- why do I say that? Well, when he was mayor of New York, he authorized uh, going in to surveil innocent Muslims with no evidence at all. He's like, oh, they're Muslims. Let's stamp them down and press down on them and investigate them all. <laughs> You were part of the scumbags who did that. So now all of a sudden, when it's done to you, wait a minute, we are Christian white men. We rule this country. You can't investigate us. We can illegally investigate you. I'm going back to that quote. He said, if Trump gets elected, the first thing he'll do is raid every one of Biden's houses. That's what Rudy said. In other words, we don't care what's legal and not legal. We know Trump broke the law, but you're not allowed to hold him accountable. And if you dare hold him accountable, we're going to raid Biden's homes. Based on nothing, I just told you. We don't have any evidence that he did anything wrong. We're gonna raid his homes for political reasons. Because Republicans at this point, if they're still Republican, they're thugs and criminals. And I think what we're about to show you can really help crystallize what the GOP really thinks about law and order in this country. What they really think about essentially being tough on crime when it comes to disadvantaged people, when it comes to their political opponents. But when it comes to one of their own, they see these government agencies as their personal assistants, as individuals who provide cover for them, as individuals who do their bidding for them. Which is why they're so outraged that the FBI would have the audacity to raid Trump's residence even after Trump was subpoenaed two months prior to the raid. Even after that subpoena told him he needed to turn over those documents to avoid a raid from happening. But he didn't care, he didn't wanna follow the law because Trump thinks he's above the law. Now I think this next video is telling to say the least, let's take a look. I think you'd have to really be a true partisan to see that they haven't gone too far. Just the mere fact that uh, 250 years of history just about never done before. And there's a, but there's a reason for it, it's not just like a, because that's what happens in banana republics, that's what happened in Nazi countries, that's what happened in communist countries. So the, the guy wins, and then he either kills or prosecutes the opposition. You should lock her up, I'll tell you. Lock up the Bidens, lock up Hillary. Lock them up, yeah, lock them up. I'll tell you something though, it is very, lock them up, you should lock them up. Lock up the Bidens, lock up Hillary. Adam Schiff. Jerry Nadler, they have to be accountable. Governor Asa Hutchinson of Arkansas told us last night he didn't think that was appropriate, the locker up chanting, and he didn't think it was right. I do feel she violated the law. And I do feel she should have been prosecuted. Fascinating, Hmm. banana republic stuff, I believe. Yeah, so look, the reason why I'm so tough on the Republicans, first of all, everybody does kid gloves with them. Like, oh, the Republican voters, they're so precious. Um, Is because, look guys, it's they figured out that sometimes the media is corrupt and doesn't tell the truth, congrats, okay. Yes, we figured that out 20 years ago. And so whenever there's a scandal, especially of an outsider, you should be really careful and look at what they're act- the media is actually saying. Because half the times it's innuendo, it's smears, etc. And we've done that for 20 years, whether it's Democrats or Republicans. And, and sometimes with Republicans, we'll say, hey, that one doesn't add up at all, okay? And we'll sometimes defend the worst of the Republicans because they didn't do it. Okay, and sometimes a Democrat did do it and we'll tell you, oh my God, he did it, get him the hell out of here, right? Because we believe in looking at evidence. But the right wing just doesn't believe in that. They love authoritarian government. 
They just love it. They just want a leader and they don't want to question it. If they question their leader, they're gonna get lost and they're gonna be fearful. So they say, if you break the law, we don't mind. Go. Ahead. I'm never. They're never gonna look at evidence. They're never gonna analyze this evidence, no matter how guilty he is. They could have his fingerprints, and they might, by the way, on the documents. They could have Russian and Saudi fingerprints on the documents. And Republicans will say, oh, Joe, you're supposed to sell nuclear secrets to the Saudis. You're so, and then the FBI did it, and then Tifa did it. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. You wanna support criminals, the Republican Party is becoming the entire party has become a party of total criminals. So enjoy it, and he's a fascist, it's super obvious. And you wanna support a fascist instead of democracy? Have at it, Hoss, but don't come around telling us you love America. Exactly. Because you hate America, 100%. you hate the rule of law, and you hate justice and equality, just own it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.